one thing I'm hearing from everybody all day is, particularly from people who have come here from abroad, that Ireland's punching way above its weight in terms of tech and just digitalia generally. So have you thoughts on that? Or? Uh, yeah, I think it is because we're good sellers. And in the end, tech is a virtual item, uh, but people want to have human connections. They want to have relationships. You know, they're, when people start to do business with a tech company, it's because they want an 18 month arc. They want a relationship. They want to know that it's going to be there. So can you make what is intangible and virtual feel real to people? You know, can they kick your virtual tires? And I think we have a very good strength in that around the world. Um, I don't know how real a lot of it is actually. My own uh, area would be games. And while we have five or 6,000 people working in the games industry, not a lot of them are making games. So it's a tale of two cities. We need to, again, make it more real so that the IP is generated and retained here. So it's amazing having all these multinationals here, but unless actual coding and generation of IP is going on, there's no real value being added to the, to the country. It's there in payroll taxes and everything else, but we need to retain that IP. When Ireland becomes an IP generating positive uh, island, that's when we're really going to be at the races. Do you think that a lot of that problem is based around people are farming out the coding or we've got too many project managers, not enough developers? Where, where do you see this falling down? I actually, I actually think it's a marketing problem. I think we've got great coders and we've got everything, but they're, they're being either aqua hired at too early a stage or they're giving up because they can't find the right product market fit. They can't get it out there and find an audience. Some of the best technologies in the world are at the bottom of the sea because nobody discovered them. You know, no one ever accused, well, some large companies of having the best tech. They just married decent enough tech with an ability to sell it through channels. And, that, and that's our problem, that we're, we're not marrying that yet. We don't have the skills and we need to import it. We need to re-import it. Bring back the great Irish execs all around the world that are currently running major, major corporations, but that they just don't see a life here. If people want to build a life for them and their families first, and then the company comes second. At things like that, it's, it's, it's easy at things like this to lose track of that that we're not just about building companies and then dying. It's where would you rather live? Silicon Valley is about the 90 miles either side of Silicon Valley. It's the quality of life. Ireland is pretty much that. Dublin, Cork, Limerick, these are productive hives, but look, look at everything else that's attached to it. You know, you've got that lifestyle here. We mightn't have the climate, but I think a temperate climate's gonna become more attractive, uh, you know, over time. Um, and that's the, that's the attractive bit. The smartest people in the world move to Silicon Valley for a better life and access to capital. There are some very driven entrepreneurs, but the thing that keeps it there and keeps generations going is that, and that's what we'll get here eventually, and I think we need to sell it more. I think Enterprise Ireland and IDA do an amazing job, but it's actually as much Fulch Ireland's job as it is those, because it's a holistic thing. I don't want to get too Oprah about it, but you really do have to offer people a great life first, because the smartest people in the world are mobile, and that's what they're after. Okay, so what you're saying is, right now, what this country needs more than anything else is a one-person mix between Jacques Cousteau, Oprah, David Attenborough, and your weatherman of choice. Uh, did I just say that? I probably did. Uh, no, I, I think what we need is Elon Musk, who made a billion dollars out of PayPal, and now he's building space rockets and talking magic cars.